I'm Jane Ginsburg, President and CEO of Jewish Family Services in Northeastern New York. Thank you for joining our virtual celebration to showcase the amazing community that we have right here in the Capital Region and our fantastic partners, our Distinguished Service Awardee Judy Abner and all of our Menches. I'm sure you know many of them and you'll get to know the rest through this short and inspiring video. As we developed the plans for the inaugural Menches and Moses brunch, we were so excited to be bringing our community together. Who would have imagined that when it was time to celebrate, we would be in the midst of a global pandemic changing our plans? More important, we could never have imagined how our community would need JFS right now, but it has, and we need our inspiring and generous community. It's evident in the numbers. Since mid-March, JFS has delivered over 2,000 meals to homebound seniors and families. We've grocery shopped 150 times for those who can't or shouldn't go out. We've held over 1,200 supportive phone calls and virtual therapy visits, and we have done so much more. Our recently launched Senior Resource Network has been a godsend for older adults and their families to explore long-term care discussions and our aging in place new normal. When I took over leadership of JFS last August, people asked me why I was so eager to, for the challenge. My answer was simple. JFS has always been here helping our community and JFS will continue to be because the needs are there. What I also hope you take away from this fantastic celebration of our community menches is that no one can go it alone. JFS can only thrive because of our champions, and our partner organizations can also only thrive because of their champions and our collective mentions. From our amazing supporters for this event, whose names you'll see peppered throughout the video for this, who have contributed to our emergency relief campaign, to our amazing volunteers from, through our long time and strong partnership with Jewish Federation. I repeat, we can only thrive with all of you, coupled with our dedicated staff, our fantastic board of directors and our amazing volunteers. Please join me in raising a glass, hopefully a mimosa, to our mentors and thank you again for your support as we navigate this crisis together and whatever else comes our way. Team, let's roll tape. Okay, board, I promised I'd share our awesome mentors and Judy's video with you. Here it goes. Guys and gals, you're in for such a treat. This video really captures how truly awesome our community is. You're gonna be blown away by the variety and amount of things these mentions do. Our partner organizations really do thrive because of their volunteers, just like us. I'm Rob Kovach, CEO of the Jewish Federation. Thank you, JFS, for creating this beautiful montage honoring our community's mentions. Mazel tov to all of the honorees and a special mazel tov to Federation's honored benches, BJ and Peter Rosenfeld. BJ and Peter have been pillars of our community for decades. Hi, I'm BJ Rosenfeld. And I'm Peter Rosenfeld. We feel that Jewish Federation is the, bond, is the bond that ties our Jewish community together. We both became involved in the Federation in the 1980s when the refuseniks, the Russian refuseniks, were being brought to America. We both believe that a strong Jewish Federation is important to the entire community. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. I am Judy Abner, President of Congregation Elhav Shalom. We are happy to have the opportunity to honor Greg Fox as a mensch. Greg has had a hand in almost all aspects of Elhav life. With all he has going on, Greg is never cross or short-tempered. He is kind, interested, thoughtful, supportive, compassionate, in other words, a true mensch, and we are happy to recognize him as part of JFS's Menches and Mimosas. Hello, my name is Greg Fox from Congregational Hub Shalom, and I want to take this opportunity to thank and show my appreciation for Congregational Hub Shalom for choosing to honor me at this event. And I think that volunteerism and being a volunteer is really important, really something special uh, because what you get out of it and it's a great feeling and um, I feel compelled to help make OHAB as excellent and helpful and supportive of the community. Risa Rautenberg is one of a set of triplets, which is why she is able to do the work of at least three people. 
Risa is a Guru Thachim's indispensable person. In Risa, one couldn't find a better friend or a better supporter. A Guru Thachim loves our Risa and is so pleased to have her honored among the JFS's Menches this year. Hello, this is Risa Rautenberg. It is a great privilege to have been nominated as an award recipient. I started off 30 years ago volunteering to help in the kitchen. Recently, it has been my extreme pleasure to have partnered with Jewish Family Services to deliver food to those in need during this coronavirus. And now for the corny truth, I have derived much more pleasure and satisfaction for my years of volunteering than those who receive the fruits of my labor. The work. Risa, thanks. You were amazing to work with. As you like a catering with Agoda, Rahim jumped right in to provide all the meals you could for those who needed it. Couldn't be more grateful and can't wait to work with you again. Thanks. I'm Rabbi Scott Spean from Congregation Beth Emeth, and it is a pleasure to add my congratulations and good wishes to Margie and Rob Dorkin. Beth Emeth really would not be what it is today without the involvement and the leadership of both Rob and Margie. So I want to certainly congratulate them, wish them a hearty Yashar Kolak. Um, their Beth Emmett family takes great pride in all that they do and all that they have done and will continue to do and so richly deserved of this recognition by our community and by Jewish Family Services. Hi, I'm Margie Dorkin and this is my husband Rob and we are very honored to be recognized by Jewish Family Services. After serving on the Beth Emmett board for seven years, I later co-chaired the annual Beth Emmett garage sale and became more involved in our brotherhood, including serving as its president. Over time, brotherhood became the in-house all-volunteer caterer. volunteering on various committees at Congregation Beth Emmeth, Rob and I co-chair the annual garage sale. I served as sisterhood president um, for many years uh, and on the CBE board for 11 years. Julie Pollock, and I'm representing the Hebrew Academy of the Capital District. Our nominee is Edie Abrams. Edie is a remarkable human and an invaluable member of the Beit Shraga family. She is so much a part of our school that it is easy to forget that she is a volunteer and not on the payroll. But most of all, Edie is a true mensch. We are honored by her love and commitment to our school and delighted to have nominated her for this award. Hi, this is Edie Abrams. Uh, if you want to feel like you're on a pedestal, you do some volunteer work because everybody whom you help is so grateful to you that you just feel like a superhero. Um, and anybody who sees me at the end of the day leaving the school will tell you I leave the school with a smile on my face every time I exit. Hi, this is Rachel Rubin from the Maimonides Hebrew Day School. Uh, to give a plug for Dwale Kaufman, who is an amazing volunteer and works with our children uh, above and beyond her schedule as a resource room teacher. She's always available to substitute. She's always available to do transportation when we go on trips, always with a smile and in a very, very calm way. She really puts me at ease and is so amazing. I cannot say enough. My name is Devorah Kaufman. I am so honored to be chosen as a volunteer Mensch of the Year for Maimonides Hebrew Day School. 
I enjoy working with the students. I enjoy helping out in the office. I enjoy using my car to bring people places that they need to get to. And all around, it's a place that makes me very happy to be hanging out there and spending my days with a lovely staff and lovely children. Steve Ribner has been a steward of Blue Family Services for nearly 20 years. When I first assumed the interim executive director role at JFS so four years ago, he generously gave his time, institutional knowledge, and business acumen. Steve initiated the Community Builders Award that has recognized others in the community who serve humanity with humility. Hi, I'm Steve Ribner. I um, want to say thank you very much for the nomination of being a mensch. Uh, I'm very proud of JFS and was very proud to serve JFS during its seventh generation as the board chair. I'm very excited by what the agency is doing today and responding to the needs of the community, really picking up where many people are falling through the cracks. JFS has always been there. So thank you again, and let's continue La Dorba Dor. Hi, I'm Andy Katz, and I'm representing the Schenectady Jewish Community Center. Chris Singer is all about creating and building, both when it comes to her ceramics projects and our Schenectady JCC community. For nearly 20 years, Chris has been teaching ceramics classes to our youth, adults, and senior members. Chris has volunteered more than a thousand hours of her time and has worked with more than 500 youth and adults. In addition to being giving of her time, Chris and her late husband, Al, of blessed memory, donated funds to help build the ceramics studio here at the Schenectady Jewish Community Center. Happy birthday, Mo. Mazel tov, Mo. Chaim, Shalom. With peace and good health. Here's to you, Mo. Here's to you, Mo. Here's to you. Hi, my name's Rabbi Nomi Manon, and I am very thrilled to be honoring Karen Hausler, who has been uh, a leader and supporter of our Hillel, UAlbany Hillel. Um, she has been a mentor, uh, financial supporter of our organization and a thought partner at every step of the way and we are incredibly lucky to have her involved with our organization and so happy to be honoring her today. Okay, trying to help them. It is wonderful to see, and I really appreciate you. Hi, I'm Linda Russell. My nominee for Mentors and Mimosas is Annie Friedman. Um, Annie just is is Menschlichkeit. She is a wonderful, warm, beautiful, beautiful person, and I can think of nobody who merits this award more than she does. We love you, Annie. Thank I volunteered to take over responsibility for our cemetery. I started out by reviewing thousands of pages of notes and documents to make sure that I knew exactly how to start this work. I contacted other synagogues in the area to find out how they handled their cemetery issues. And then I put bits and pieces from each of them together to make my own manual called Rules and Regulations for the Cemetery. I take great joy in doing all possible. Hello, this is Gary Ginsberg, President of Temple Israel, and our mensch is Marsha Rosenberg. Marsha is the quintessential mensch, and may very well have several clones of herself given the sheer amount of work she does. I would not be able to describe all of the ways Marsha volunteers at Temple Israel and how much work, support, and love she gives our show on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Marcia Rosenberg. I'm a member of Temple Israel. My parents were volunteers who said it was better to give than to receive. I take that to heart every day as a volunteer, but I also have received so much myself. 
It has added purpose and meaning to my life. I am truly humbled by this honor, as I do for others, not to be recognized, but to do what is needed for the Jewish community. Michael Marks coming to you from Temple Sinai in Saratoga Springs, New York, to tell you a little bit about our mensch, Sean Banner. Sean indeed is a mensch for our congregation. He's a caring, supportive, enthusiastic man who has been a role model for our entire congregation. From our, um, if any of our scholars from our religious community grow up to be half the mensch that Sean Banner is, then I think our responsibilities to repairing the world will be a better place for the generations to come. Hi, my name is Sean Banner. The kids that I've had when they were five have now graduated from college. So I have actually affected a generation of Temple Sinai youth. And I think that's really wonderful. They remember me, I remember them. It's great to make that kind of difference and get them started in their Judaic life. Hi, this is Mark Koblenz, Chief Executive Officer of the Doors of Sarah Community for Seniors. We have nominated Del Salmon. Del is the paragon of the type of board president every organization needs. Fully committed to the agency's mission, Del has the uncanny skill to know the precise balance a board must strike between shaping the organization's future and allowing its management to run the operation. I have been involved with those and Sarah uh, for the last 15 years. Uh, first, I am so proud of the staff um, and, uh, who uh, provide tender, loving care, uh, especially uh, in this uh, uh, serious time of COVID-19. Hi, I'm Laura Eric from Congregation Gates of Heaven. Sanford Fialkoff is our nominated mensch, and it's my honor to tell you a little bit about him. Sandy's been a volunteer in the local school district for almost 25 years, giving young students the care and the attention that they might not otherwise get. So it's no surprise that what he does here at Gates is in the same vein. I often come in in the morning to find him already hard at work in our gardens, whether he's weeding or watering or pruning. It's a pleasure to have this opportunity to recognize the care and the attention that you give to our community and to this congregation. Shalom. I'm Rabbi Don Cashman of B'nai Shalom. At B'nai Shalom, we've been blessed for nearly 30 years with the dedicated involvement and leadership of David and Libby Liebschutz. They have been cherished role models in the congregation as regular worshipers, involved members, devoted leaders, and dear friends. And I'm pleased that we can honor them today. We're David and Libby Liebschutz. One of the things that's been a constant over the time that we've been involved in B'nai Shalom has been our regular weekly attendance at services, even over Zoom in these days of COVID-19. We've both been president. Um, I would say my involvement has been more uh, committee work, almost all of them at one point or another and a lot of kind of special projects. My involvement has largely been, although I've been on committees and I was president of the board in the mid 90s, has been on a couple of large projects. So B'nai Shalom has been an incredibly important part of our lives for 40 years since we've lived in all.
I'm Roy Feldman, rabbi at Congregation Beth Abraham Jacob, and I'm thrilled that Jewish Family Services is honoring Barry and Leah Siegel as mensches in this community. Leah brings her creativity, her unmatched aesthetic sensibilities, and her keen eye for visuals to all of our programming. Barry is the gabbai, the caretaker, the custodian, the head ritual director, so to speak, of our weekday minion. It is safe to say that Congregation Beth Abraham Jacob would not function without these two extraordinary mentions. Hi, I'm Baruch Siegel. And I'm Leah Siegel. And we would like to take this opportunity to thank Beth Abraham Jacob, Jewish Family Services, and the Jewish community for this honor. We are so proud and happy to be part of this warm, vibrant, and diverse community. And we are pleased to be able to contribute. Thank you. I am Rabbi Mordechai Rubin of the Colony Chabad Jewish Center. I am so excited to be here today to nominate Sam Kandib for this special honor. Sam epitomizes to me what it means to be a mensch. He is a man completely dedicated to community service, who lives and breathes Havat Yisrael, love for his fellow. He gives all of his time and energy and leaves no stone unturned to be there for another. In our community here in Colony, Sam's talents and skills, which are plentiful, are so appreciated and make such a big difference. Elaine Wilkove has been a passionate, active volunteer for many years in the Albany Jewish Community Center's Senior Adult Program. Elaine made time to give back to her community, fully devoting her heart and her mind to any task and treating each person with great respect. It's a pleasure to honor you, Elaine. Heartfelt thanks and love on behalf of our community. The Distinguished Service Award recognizes a staff member, board member, or volunteer who has gone above and beyond in prioritizing the needs of the organization and our clients. The recipient is a person who is known throughout the community as one who wears JFS on their sleeves and ensures the best for us at every turn. The awardee is also recognized for any and all other community work and dedicated service they perform. Simply, this phrase sums up who Judy Abner is. Because of her long-term commitment to JFS, from program director at NORC to several terms as interim executive director, and then still staying on to run the Village at Ohio Apartments program, Judy is always advocating for JFS throughout the community. She has done this all while being president of Ohio Shalom, working with Federation on numerous committees, and teaching at Yeso. I'm humbled to receive the Distinguished Service Award from Jewish Family Services and to be honored along with this incredible group of individuals who represent the best that our community has to offer. Special thank you to JFS, a critically important organization that has been caring for the most vulnerable in our community for over 160 years. In the current COVID-19 crisis, JFS is again rising to the occasion, making sure that our elderly have food and support and that no one is alone. How lucky we are to have this agency to work for us in our community. I have been blessed with many opportunities to be involved, to work in many roles in a number of organizations that form this beautiful mosaic of our Capital District Jewish community. I have the work of creating a kahila, a community, is about building, engaging, and sustaining for ourselves and our families. We all want our community to continue to grow in many ways, but most especially, we are committed to growing in love, in wisdom, in beauty, and in joy. Thank you again. Mazel tov, Judy. Thank, Thank you for all you do. No secret there, awesome community service volunteers, and it is great to see such dedication. 
it is no secret. These truly are dedicated and talented people. Totally. It's a labor of love, just like what JFS is doing for our community right now. You said it. On that note, raise our glasses to our amazing team at JFS. Bahia. And let's raise our glasses to the benches. What a special group. Mazala. And let's raise our glasses to Judy Avner for her long-time dedication to JFS and to ensure its place in the community for all that she's done for, for its beneficiaries, both in front and of and behind the, the scenes. Here's to you, Judy. Finally, let's raise our glasses to our community, to our amazing sponsors, our honorary committee members, well-wishers, and more. JFS relies on community support to provide services. So here's to you all. Thank you for supporting our honorable mention and thank you in turn for honoring JFS. It's not too late to come on board to support us. Just go to jfsneny.org. Jane, how will people know who supported the event in JFS? Great question, Larry. The complete tribute book will be live on our website now. I'm really excited to see it. Me too. What a special event this turned out to be. Here's to celebrating in person when it's safe to do so. But for now, stay safe. Stay safe. Let's talk to our mentions. How great was that? Oh, thank you all for your participation today. And Mazel Tov again to our mentors and to Judy Avner and to the entire community for coming together and pulling together to make sure that we are honoring those who have gone above and beyond and always put our organizations first. Thank you also to our amazing team who put this together. Monica Tan, our Director of Marketing and Communications, went above and beyond and put her heart and soul into this project. And we are so grateful to you for everything you have done. And our amazing committee, Joy Davidoff, Rachel Sertzer, Robin Polanski-Morrison, Debbie Sikoler, and our fantastic board chair, Scott Hollander. Thank you to all of you for all of the time and energy and effort you did for, for today and for this entire effort for Mentors and Mimosas. Thank you all again for listening, for participating. Go and have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thanks again. Thank you.